So today we're speedrunning through Moto X3M, which is probably one of the coolest motorcycle games I've ever played. The game has a total of 25 levels and we will be going through each and every single one of them. Now we can start our speedrun as soon as we start moving and then right away you can see how cool this game is. I mean, you're on a motorcycle, of course it's cool, but they have a lot of nice things as well. Like right over here, we have a bunch of spikes that will literally murder me. So for this game, you're basically just trying not to get murdered. And I mean, there's a lot of things that are trying to kill you. Like look at that salt, that would destroy me if I got hit by that, but thankfully we finished out the first level, get onto the second one, and now we have more death traps that we have to make our way through. Now, one question I have is why are we on the beach? It just seems like a weird place to put this obstacle course. Are people just in the background having their family vacation looking at this dude like, is he gonna die? I mean, it's probably entertaining for them at the very least. Maybe not for the kids because it might scar a little bit of them, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, we also literally have a tank. So that's the thing. You can't speed this part up. You literally just have to ride the tank. And yeah, it goes through explode. What is going on in this game? But we finally finish it out with some more explosions and we can go on to the next level where we're in a cave. The game has a lot of different areas that you go into and it switches back and forth between them. The cave is an interesting one because you actually have to be kind of careful about hitting your head on the ceiling. If you do that with too much force, then of course you are gonna die. And we have things like this, which literally want to crush me. But yeah, I just want to make sure that my dude stays alive because I mean, I think I'm getting paid for this. I have to wonder, did he set up these death traps by himself? Is he just like a super rich billionaire that really loves motorcycles? Or is this his full-time job? And also who is this entertainment for? Because there doesn't seem like many places you could come to watch this guy at a cave. But maybe he's on like a reality TV show. Yeah, that seems about right. He's just going, doing some death defying stunts. And if he does die, that's even better for the TV show. But hey, it looks like we are now in the desert. This is a pretty cool area. There are more explosions, things trying to kill me. You know, is just normal Moto X3M things. There's also this part, which is always very scary because that can very easily kill you for seemingly no reason. But we'll just keep making our way through. We have some balls that try to drop on us. This one jump where we have to go like that. And then we have a huge hill, which we will gain up speed. And this contraption, which I wonder who tested that to make sure it's safe. Honestly, I don't know if anyone tested any of this to make sure it's safe. Maybe I'm the one that tests it. They're just okay with me dying because I did sign up for it after all. And if I decide it's all safe, then it's gonna become a kid's attraction. Okay, that, <laughs> that does not sound like a good idea. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to make money. Now we'll go over here. We have a nice explosion that will hit us, literally probably murder us, but we made it to the end. So it doesn't really matter. I'm good again. You can get murdered, but as long as you make it to the goal, everything will be fine. You know a little bit of broken bones never hurt anybody. Now we have this part where I get launched over here in front of a bunch of spikes. And this dude just stares down all this danger without even batting an eye. I mean, I guess we can't really see because he has a helmet on, but it seems like he just doesn't care. He is completely ready to do this, but it might be because some random dude's just controlling him. That would kind of make sense. But hey, we're back on the beach. Now we can traumatize more children that are just trying to have a nice family vacation or maybe inspire them. Maybe they'll be like, mom, I want to do this when I grow up. And the mom is like, why did I take them to this beach? and when did they allow this kind of construction. We also have moving things like this, by the way, which are kind of an auto-scroller section. You can't really do much to speed it up, but finally we get through there. It's a nice little break for me, at least. And then we have one final jump where we do this loop-de-loop, -loop, an explosion happens, and we make it to the goal. I definitely broke a lot of bones through that. We just didn't see it, but I guess if you don't see it, it doesn't really matter. Now we have some vines that we have to make it across, some spikes, all pretty much just the normal stuff when you're playing Moto X3M. And yeah, my dude also has to deal with this explosion, which was in a very handy place. Place so we don't hit those spikes and we can finish out right about here. We'll get another explosion. That's always a nice treat. And then we have a boot that kicks us to the goal. Again, we are dead, but we made it to the end. So it doesn't really matter. As long as you finish the course, if you die, you know, they can just find a new person. I guess we don't technically know if this is the same person every single time. This could very well be multiple people. And you're just like, we don't care about their lives. We have plenty more of them. Yeah, that's kind of a dark theory. Eh, let's just not worry about it. I just got to make sure my head doesn't get crushed by the ceiling and then I have to make it through this cave. Oh yeah, and then we get this part where we get launched <laughs> and then just... <laughs> Wait, oh, I thought I wasn't gonna make it there. That was way too close for comfort. But we're making it through pretty well. I mean, we haven't died yet. And now that I say that, we definitely are going to die. Every single time that I say something like that while I'm speed running, I mess something up. And I don't know why I always do it, but I'm just gonna try my best to survive. As long as I remember what I'm going through, don't die to any of the death traps. We should be fine. We have this little jump, make it all the way back down. And I'm actually forgetting what's about to come up, but hopefully it gets to me. Oh yeah, it's just a loop-de-loop. -loop. 
nothing bad about that. And hey, now we're back in the desert where we have more moving contraptions. Like whoever made this must have spent a lot of money and also probably cleans up a lot of dead bodies that land on those spikes. But hey, it is what it is. When you're doing a motorcycle event, you gotta make it dangerous. Or otherwise, is it really a motorcycle thing? Well, maybe, but we're not gonna talk about those kinds of things. But level 12 is pretty easy. We just finish off with a couple of explosions that try to murder me, but they can't because I'm just too good at the game. Then we have a couple of jumps over these vines. These are always weird because you can sometimes not get the right amount of height, but luckily I did there. Before we go into this area where it's a nice loop-de-loop, -loop, things open up and like, yeah, this stuff is getting way too expensive for my taste. But then we'll make it here where we have a nice jump to build up a ton of speed so we can make it up that hill and then finally finish out right about here where all we have to do is a loop-de-loop -loop where the thing moves up and then another loop-de-loop -loop through this entire thing. How much did it cost to make that? I'm probably way too worried about the price tags of these things, but it's just kind of concerning. Like, who invested all this money? And like, they try to kill me with spikes too. If I was slightly slower, I would be dead right now. Oh yeah, also there's a cannon that also tries to murder me. They aren't even subtle about it anymore. And there's a whale that I have to jump over to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. At least I think that's a whale. I don't really know what that was supposed to be. Oh, and then this part. This could very easily ruin my run. Please, no. Oh, okay, we barely didn't get it. This part is pretty inconsistent, but we can continue on because we did have the checkpoint and just make our way through there. So it was a little bit of a time loss, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Now we have some more gigantic contraptions and we are ruining this beach. At first it was subtle, it was barely anything, but now you cannot come to this beach without seeing all these metal contraptions and I guess my dead body as well. I don't know how I just died on that and I guess we also didn't get a checkpoint. So that's gonna lose me a tiny bit of time, but the run has been going so well that I'm gonna continue it. Okay, this time, please do not die to that. Thank you very much. And now there's just a little bit further. We have to stop ourselves to make sure we don't die right there. You know, just kind of the normal stuff before I believe finishing out right here with another explosion that's literally trying to murder me and crush me in the most painful way possible. Yeah, this game is fun for the whole family. So, oh, I did. I just, okay. That was kind of embarrassing. I got on the thing, which is kind of hard to do and then fell off. But if we wait and we just have this thing take us over there, it's not too hard. You just have to have a little bit of patience. And I guess I didn't the first time, but it is what it is. We get to this area where we have to slow down a little bit to make sure we don't die there before doing one of these jumps, making it to another checkpoint. And then finally, we're about to finish it out right here where an arrow comes by and tries to stab us. But luckily it was used as a platform for us. So even though they tried to murder me, they weren't able to, good for me. Okay, we're on level number 17. I'm trying to remember what this is. The the problem with a game with like 25 levels is it's very easy to forget which one is which. But the cool thing about this game is it's pretty easy to read and just go along with the game as long as you're pretty good at it. Like I didn't really know it was happening, but I was able to still survive. And now there are even faster things that are trying to murder me. Okay, this is, oh, it's this level. Please give me enough height. Yeah, this level is one of the most annoying that sometimes just doesn't work and you have to get enough height to make it over that and sometimes it's not gonna happen. Please do not make this take like 20 tries. Oh, we made it to the checkpoint. Yeah, that jump is way harder than it should be, and it's just really inconsistent, but I believe that's the last inconsistent jump of the run at the very least. So as long as I play well, we should be fine. We have to stop right here so we can take this slow elevator up and then finish out right about there. And we're almost on to level 20 at this point. We're doing pretty good time. Oh, and now we have a gigantic loop-de-loop -loop where I don't touch anything but the ignition, and it will take me through this just perfectly all these things that could murder me, but I'm not too worried about it. Get another jump right there. And then we have to stop here. And now we have two slow elevator rides. Yeah, literally, I can't do anything about these. I'm kind of just waiting for them to go. I'll jump over here. The camera gets really weird for a second. And then we go down this one as well. So, you know, just a nice fun time for the whole family. But then we can finally finish it out by getting to the goal. And that will be 19 done. We're back in the caves for number 20. And I don't exactly remember. Oh yeah, we have a loop-de-loop -loop right here. I'm just remembering these things as they come. It looks like we have another loop-de-loop, -loop, a bunch of saws that are trying to murder me. Oh yeah, and then here we get an arrow that saves us, so thank you very much. We have a nice explosion that tries to murder me. You know, just the normal things. We're pretty used to it at this point. And then finally, we have this boat ride, which we're riding a boat over these, but you can't make these things up. But you know, it was a nice, pleasant boat ride. I'm glad I was on it. And then we will only have this one jump left where we just have to make sure we don't die to the gigantic spiky thing. And we're on 21 now where we're gonna get a nice couple of jumps, you know, some very flimsy things, which I would not 
not trust to ride a motorcycle over. But hey, who cares about if I survive? We were already over this. There's probably plenty more of me. Anyway, we have another jump. We can do a loop-de-loop -loop right there, make it to the checkpoint. And then I believe there's only one last big jump for this level. Oh yeah, it's that thing where I'm gonna lose my motorcycle, but still make it to the end. Because again, it doesn't matter if we die as long as our body makes it. Oh God, that was the most morbid way of saying it that I could come up with. Anyway, let's just move on from that. We have this nice bridge, which we have to make it over the spikes. There's just a bunch of spikes everywhere. And this really weird platform that's moving back and forth. Who designed these things and what are they hanging from? But that doesn't really matter because we also have that that I don't even know what that's supposed to be but there are a bunch of explosions and i survived i guess so it doesn't really matter we just have this one jump and then we get a nice and cool thing where we ride across this and then just get flop are you kidding me i have never had that happen to me where that failed like that that was such a stupid time loss okay i guess we'll do it how it's supposed to be done it's supposed to what what is going on this is wasting me so much time for no reason at all okay just fling me thank you for the nice fling and make it to the end, thank you very much. Okay, was it really that tough? At least we're on 23 now. We have, I think this is our last cave level or maybe our second to the last cave level. Oh yeah, and it's also my favorite one because we get this nice and slow ride over these things. Where yeah, again, you can't really do too much to speed it up. You just kind of have to survive it. But then we make it to this part and we get another nice part where explosions make that thing go up and almost crush us, but we're just able to survive. And then we can go through here. Then it's just a little bit of spikes, all that kind and normal stuff before we finish out and get crushed. Yeah. <laughs> That was the ending. There's no stopping the crushing. You're just kind of accepting it. I mean, it's your fault for signing up to this obstacle course, so it is what it is. Now we have to stop ourselves for level 24. Make sure we're not going too fast, but also not too slow because, you know, it's a speed run. That should kind of be obvious at this point. But anyway, we can keep going through here. We just have this metal blade that is trying to murder me and a couple more metal blades as well at that. One more metal blade, which we have to make it right over. And then all we have to do is make it to the bottom of here, which just collapses for us. And now we're on to the last level, which the last level is a very interesting death trap, as you can see by the swinging saw blades. But we're able to make it by that. We make it to another checkpoint, which is always going to be nice, but hopefully we won't have to use the checkpoint. We'll just have to deal with all these death traps and not have them murder me. It's like one death trap after the next. We have some explosions, which do some cool things. You know, who doesn't love explosions? And then we're finally able to finish it out right here where there's one more explosion. We go right there and we make it to the goal. That's going to be time 50. 1540. And a 1540 puts us at 19th place, so I'm gonna take it. But I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, check out my other videos. I do a lot of cool content on this channel, so if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy my others. And if you do, subscribe. But enough shilling. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.